Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Go. Paolo, take us through what you saw uh, on, on that last play, you know, with about two seconds left and, and kind of what you got and, and what you were hoping to get out of that, that last possession. Um, I mean, yeah, the play was drawn up to curl up, uh, get the shot. And, uh, yeah, just caught it. Didn't have much time. Paolo, we've talked a lot about this team learning how to win in different ways and, and whatnot, but what can you take away from a game like this where it's, back and forth down to the wire. Obviously, you guys had a, a game earlier in the year that went to double overtime versus Sacramento, but what's the what's the big lesson that you, you can take away from this loss? Uh, I would just say all little things matter, uh, you know, because sometimes you can't control certain things like what calls refs are going to make and stuff like that. So you just got to try everything you can do on, on your part as a team. Kind of, kind of building on that, you know, the game's not always lost in, in the fourth quarter. I think you guys gave up a 13-0 run, went scoreless for five minutes in, in the third quarter. What, what is the, what, what did you guys see in, in, in that moment, and what does it say about your guys' ability to fight back and, and answer answer back to get back in the game after after going going that long? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, they went zone. That gave us trouble. Um, and then, you know, we were able to fight back. Some guys came in, made some big plays, big shots. Uh, so just proud of how we got back in the game. When you're facing a good, you know, Sacramento's a team that, that went to the playoffs last year. They're in the playoff hunt again this year. When you're facing a good team like that, does does a game like tonight kind of show you how fine the margin is between winning or losing in, in playoff-type games? A little bit. I mean, every time we've played them, I think, you know, since I've been on a team, it's been that similar game. And, you know, they always win. So maybe it's just them. Paolo, can, can you talk about how difficult it is to work through the screens that, that Demonis Sabonis is setting and, and sets guys free, you know, for, th for three? Just it seemed like there were some, some open looks for some guys tonight, and you know, Sabonis is obviously the key to, to setting a lot of those screens and getting guys open. Yeah, I mean, that's what he do. That's why he gets paid what he gets paid, you know, to help, you know, run their offense and set those screens, you know. Uh, it doesn't show up on the stat sheet, but he gets a lot of guys open. Jay obviously had had the big game that that he had. What what kind of energy did he bring to to tonight's game, and, and how did that lift you guys up? Yeah, no, I mean he's always going to bring that intensity. Um, you know, when he's making shots like he was today, you know, it really helps us. And uh, yeah, you know, we just want him to always be aggressive, look for a shot. Thanks, Pete. <clears throat> Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop.